back here. So when we run a task in the main actor here, look where it's running, the main thread. Yes. But if you detach a task in other components, for example, where is the repository? Uh, uh, yeah, it's data and uh, data, data folder. OK, let's detach a task here in this repository. So this is not in the main actor, right? It's not a main actor class. So if I detach a task here, so this one is in the main queue, and this one is in a background, concurrent mm. queue. Make sense? Yes. So it is safe to make these mutations here inside this task because of the main actor. But not every class is in the main actor. If you have a class that you want it to be in the main actor, it's not a view controller, for example, you can mark it as main actor. But everything in the view controller is already marked as main actor because the UI view controller is already defined. Okay. As the main actor, and now every subclass will also inherit this behavior. So does that mean like some of my view controller properties I marked as main actor? Like that's just uh, repeating myself. Where is it? In the view controller, the places. Uh, yeah, you see there. Yes, you don't need it. Okay. And also like the is fetching is also main actor. And some behavior here. Oh, but nothing major. Okay. Make sense? The concurrency model here will guarantee the calls on the main thread because of the main actor. Great. Because it's in a concurrent environment. If you call, for example, this patch global async and you try to do the same thing you will have issues because you're not using the new concurrency model here can you see that you even need to use self here to capture self this will not work because this doesn't respect the, the new model this is still the old hq global hmm. So you're only safe if you are within the new concurrency model, like when using tasks, or you are in an async function. Okay. 